Hi everyone, John Lee here from Rise Mortgage and I'm here at the Dynamax Group Presentation Center. I have an exciting project I want to share with you. Let's do this! I'm super excited to be collaborating with Dynamax Group and the project that we want to feature today is Templeton. And I'm here with Godana, Sales Director with Dynamax. Thank you so much for having us today. Thank you, John, for joining us. I'm super excited to share our project Templeton with you. Um, but first, let's talk about the location of this project. Yeah, for sure. Templeton is about four blocks away from Commercial Drive. Um, we are one of the first to market in this area that is right now changing and um, with this specific location you're able to within five minutes have access to a long list of restaurants there's cafes grocery stores as well as entertainment for your family it's very family oriented Every, all your amenities are within walking distance and you have access to transit you're only 10 minutes to downtown that sounds amazing. Can you tell us more about the building? I'd love to. So Templeton is a passive house project. We have 60 homes that we're offering. Uh, that includes one, two, and three bedroom condos, as well as some garden homes and some three bedroom town homes. One of the unique aspects about our condos is that they all have an exterior entry. Uh, we've built this development focused on community and family living. So we have a courtyard, all the homes face the courtyard, and we offer outdoor amenities, including a TRX workout area. We have a couple of green spaces. We also have a picnic area. Um, so it just creates more of the family environment. Yeah, the building looks beautiful. I'm sure the interior is going to be even better. Are you able to share with us the interior as well? Yes, I'd love to. We have a kitchen vignette um, that I could showcase. Awesome, let's check it out. Great. Wow, this is beautiful. Can you tell us more about the interior? Yes, absolutely. We have two color schemes to choose from. We have our classic color scheme and our modern color schemes. Both color schemes offer dual toned kitchen cabinets. Um, our classic is what we have showcased here. This is our kitchen vignette. It's not true to size or the actual configuration of the kitchen. It's just to show the finishes and some of our appliances. Uh, for our appliance package, we have a 32 inch Fisher and Paykal fridge with a bottom mount freezer. And then we have our Bosch 30 inch induction cooktop, as well as a Bosch 30 inch dishwasher that would come with the home, although we don't have it included here. Uh, with regards to the material that we're using, we have the flat white matte finish cabinets. We've added uh, the hardware down below in stainless steel to match our Moen uh, faucet. We've also added uh, these drawers that showcase our cooking utensils instead of having them right beside the oven. And then you have your cooking oils and it prevents the clutter on your countertops. The Countertops are quartz, and then we have extended it all the way to the backsplash so that there's no grout. And down below, we have more of a wood grain finish on our cabinets. With our modern color scheme, it's very similar. It's white upper cabinets, and then the lower cabinets are more of a lacquered glossy finish um, in a very similar tone. And again, um, a quartz countertop that is extended all the way to the backsplash with the same, same appliance package. So you mentioned that this is a passive house. Can you share with us what's different between a passive house and a, a regular building? Yes. Uh, let's walk over here. I have a cross section of a wall to share the differences with, with regards to a passive house as opposed to a traditionally built home. Perfect. Thank you. So this really stood out and I'm not too sure what it is. Can you tell us more about it? Uh, this cross section basically shows us the um, traditional way of building and then how Passive House changes that. It's not a technology, it's more a focus on the actual construction. So you can see here we use the 2x6 uh, wood frame studs uh, with the insulation on the interior. If you could imagine this is the drywall and then the interior of your home is on the other side of that wall. We have a half inch exterior plywood sheathing and then of course your water resistant barrier membrane. So traditionally what happens is between this water resistant barrier membrane and the exterior shell of the home is a one and a half inch 
air gap just to push the water out um, if there is any absorptions. Um, what we've done is we've added an extra six inches of insulation. It's continuous insulation that wraps around your home and prevents the heat from escaping in those gaps that you would traditionally find in a traditionally built home. So for a passive house, besides the insulation, what other features would it have? So there's three main aspects of Passive House. One, we've talked about the construction, but I'd love to show you the second aspect, which is our windows. Let's take a look. Great. The other big feature of Passive House is our windows. We use premium windows. They're triple glazed, so three panes of glass. Uh, they're European style, so they open from the inside, and then they also tilt up from the top, providing a little bit more um, diversity in your window. Uh, the other unusual aspect of these windows is that the actual frame is insulated. And this is the other, uh, other place in your home where heat escapes. So having triple glaze tilt and turn windows with the really tight seal ensures that we're able to continue saving on those heating costs. So that's the second point for Passive House. What would be the last one? So the last point of Passive House, if we could move over here, we do have um, a heat recovery ventilation system. So every home has their own heat recovery ventilation system, so you're not sharing air with anybody else. Um, the One of the benefits is that it'll continually push out the stale air and continually bring in the fresh air into your home. We have two filters. Both filters act to uh, filter out pollutants and particles, whether it be from um, car emissions or whether it be from the forest fires we've just experienced. It ensures that the air you're breathing in your home is the healthiest breathing air. Um, and that if you suffer from allergies or asthma or or any kind of respiratory problems, this is the healthiest environment to be living in, as well as the most comfortable. And um, this has really resonated with our medical community. Um, and so those are the benefits of Passive House construction. Thank you so much, Gordana. What a beautiful project. And for those who are viewing right now and they want to learn more about the project, what's the best way to contact you? The best way to contact us is through our website. You can call us. We do have an email address or you could visit us on our social media. We look forward to seeing you soon.